mean that's that. what I said. I said that. <laughs> I, but I I'm said, saying I said disregarding everything else. If you just knew man A was stronger and tougher than man B, you would say man A was more manly, no? More manly or more of a man? Those are put him in a fucking bedroom. Get him out of here. Put him, put, put him in a fucking bedroom. Get him out of here. Come on, man. I calculated that shit, Mary. You stepped into that. Being a man, it comes with morals. That's a character. That's who you I are. Said, Being geez, a man. Right. Being manly is what you look like. What you somebody, may be able to uh, physically do. But I, Mary, I said well, we disregarding. With, with men. You, you did say disregarding. I all said of disregarding them. everything else. Just mm -hmm. going about physical strength. And we're not talking I about said, what you're talking about. Well, then, why are you talking? Hey, Terrence, what you think? I'm not, she's not gonna, be, I'm, I'm gonna be mature. All right, I'm, <laughs> I'm kind of like Bub's situation. Um, mm -hmm. my, my, uh, my parents were divorced, I think, when I was like 10. And, you know, my father wasn't in the house. And I'm not even gonna say that many of my father had the greatest relationship, you know, growing up. Mm -hmm. But he was tough on me. And at the time, did I appreciate it? Hell no. Nah. But <laughs> when I became my own man, I actually, you know, I could actually go back and go, now I see why he said that. Or I know, you know, I can understand why he did that. Mm. Um, and that's where I feel like it is, you know, it's beneficial. Is the red flag? Hell no. Nah. Because could you say that if it's a single father raising a daughter or a single if it was a single father raising his son you know a, 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 a father knows what his son is going to experience in this world so therefore it is his job to actually prepare him for this world you know you you know of course a woman can't raise a man but you know one story i can remember is like um, when I was playing football, um, I scored a touchdown and I damaged the fuck out of my knee. And I'm crying and all this other stuff. My mom walked out there. She looked at it and she said the fam her, one of her famous phrases, you'll live. And that was it. You know, ain't no going to no hospital, no ER, none of that shit. She just said you live, walked off like it was nothing. So... <laughs> You get your, you know, if anything, my mother didn't teach me how to be a man, but she did teach me, motherfucker, you'll live. <laughs> and I think that both of my parents, albeit that they had different methods, the end goal was still the same. So to say that, you know, a woman can judge this to say that this is a red flag, man, I think that's bullshit. T, question. Could you see how a woman could have a concern if you came up in a single parent home? I don't I don't see that because it's just like, you know, both my parents, their goal was to make me very independent. And, you know, um, that's the same reason why just as much as there are some masculine things that I know how to do, whether it was from my father or other people because i truly do believe it does take a village mm -hmm. however my mother also my mother you know taught me how to you know clean wash dishes you know do laundry and all that other stuff so does that make me less than a man because i know how to do all of these things i don't know I, I'm, so no wait. it doesn't it doesn't let me help you out with that answer it doesn't make you less than it makes you can clean you made cook. you a well-rounded man thank you it, so where is so where is this uh, supposed red flag at the end. Mm. It don't yeah. exist, in mm. my opinion. Cheers. I think for, mm -hmm. I think for a woman, I guess I think the lady in the video for context. I think some of her stuff I don't necessarily agree with. But you ever heard of like son husbands and they come from single single parent homes? Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. this thing that Nay alluded to. Those mm -hmm. are some of those potential red flags. Also, uh -huh. potentially, if a man doesn't have a man in the house in his life, sometimes they come out with more feminine traits, stereotypically. Yeah, I think I think that one part of this argument is, is has not been said and is missing <clears throat> is that, yes, we need men in the home. Right. We need healthy men in the home. And just a man being there, if, if you see your father all day, either verbally or physically abusing your mother, 
That's not going to raise you how to be a man. That's not going to make you healthy. Just because you're strong in prowess and in physicality does not make a man. There's more than being a man and just being physically strong. Yo, and I, that's and, and not so a fact, though. That's not a fact, though. It, it, I don't mean to cut well, you I said off, but that's not a things. fact. I said two different things. What's not a fact, though? What's not the a first fact? Thing, he the, referred to the first thing. Yeah, when you talk, when you when you just said if you if 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 a boy like witnesses yeah, his father, know. you know, uh, verbally abusing his mother or whatnot, mm-hmm. that's mm-hmm. It, it, that he can't. He more than likely he will not turn into a good man. You're no, I said, I, I said that. Yeah, that but that right there. If you grew up in that, and that's your normal. That's what you normally see all day, right? Yeah, or but here's you the might thing. Not like it, but it's still a part of who you are. It doesn't. He didn't teach you crisis resolution. Yeah, but that never resolution. that never transitioned over to me. That never transitioned over into adulthood. I never put my hands on a woman, and I seen that happen to my mother. I never that word that B used a lot. I never used that word he towards a woman. A lot. Yeah. So it's a it's a lot of stuff that. My father, that I, I witnessed my father mm-hmm. do, it never transitioned mm-hmm. over to me. You know why? Did he live in the home? Did he live in the home with you, though? At the time, yeah. And then, and, and, and then, then you your I, mom to separate. So I, I, yeah, when I was like six, so I witnessed mm-hmm. a few things. You know, mm-hmm. I would just stay mm-hmm. in my room, listen. Mm-hmm. You know, be up under the covers. I knew what was mm-hmm. going on, mm-hmm. but when I started, like you know, dealing with girls or women, there was never a thought in my mind, oh. Oh, oh, all right. Well, since Shorty getting loud right now, I feel like she's being disrespectful. Let me try with my, let me try one of my daddy's methods. Now, hell no. That so, ain't never transitioned over to me. Okay. From the gate, from the gate, I was solid. Well, I got I got to get I got to get Q and Adrian in real quick. But Go ahead. I think I think I just want to say but Asia's logic doesn't seem like it's not sound. People often kids mimic what they see. They do. So Ooh. I think that logically it makes sense that that could be duplicated. Not all, not not all, not all, but right. it could be duplicated. And, and it's not just you might have seen him hit her, but also it may not manifest in that way, but it could manifest in other ways too. We can't ignore that. Yeah. Um, and, and we can go down a whole rabbit hole of how it has manifested or could manifest in that child's life, but I know you want to get to Q and some and Nay, I think yeah. so. I'll be quiet, but it, it, it's, and we out.